In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a scoreboard to your Minecraft server using Simple Score. Now, while it may be called Simple Score, it is placeholder API compatible. In other words, you can pretty much add anything you want to your scoreboard. You want the amount of hearts to showcase? You can do that. You want to showcase the amount of deaths or kills? That's completely possible. You want to showcase the rank you are in the server? Also completely possible. You want to show the world you're in? You want to showcase how long a player has been playing on the server? All of that stuff is possible with Simple Score. And today I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video. Also check if you're subscribed to the channel. As most people who watch my videos are actually not subscribed. Even though it just takes a single click, two clicks, if you also want to enable notifications. And with those two clicks, you would help me out big time. And then, without any further ado, let's uh, dive right into this. So the first step to setting up SimpleScore is of course installing SimpleScore on your Minecraft server. Now there will be a link in the description of this video that will take you to the Spigot page from SimpleScore. There you can simply click on the download button, after that drag the jar file into your plugins folder and restart your server. Now if the only thing you want to do with your scoreboard is just add some simple text, then you're already done. You don't have to install anything else. Though let's say you want to add lots of cool stuff, for example the amount of kills, the amount of hard you have, the rank you're in, and maybe even your playtime, then you will need to install Placeholder API as well. Now a link to Placeholder API will also be in the description of this video. It will take you to the Spigot page, just click on download, drag it into your plugins folder and restart your server. Now if you have no clue what Placeholder API is, don't worry, I'm gonna give a quick and simple explanation later in this video. But after restarting our server, this is what you will see. So this is the default scoreboard. What do we see here? Well, first of all, we get a name. It is called your server. I haven't filled in anything, that's why it's still saying your server. Though so you can just put your own server name there. If you don't want your server name at all to be showcased there, you can of course completely change that. Then beneath that we got the player name. It now shows Kasasura. If another player would look at this, they would see their username. Then beneath that we got the health, the amount of hearts we currently have. So let's go to game mode survival and let's go jump off of this one. There we go. And we now lost some hearts. Now beneath that we got the world. This is basically showing you the world you're currently in. Well the world we are currently in is called world. Which is why it's saying world there. If I would go to the nether it would say world nether. And then all the way at the bottom we got the online players. Currently there's one players online. Which is great. I'm lonely. But this is of course all stuff that changes. So while the your server at the top is just plain text. The rest of the stuff is actually stuff that changes depending on the situation. Now this is some very default stuff, but you can add tons of stuff like this with Placeholder API. Which is why I would highly recommend installing it. So let me show you how to make a new scoreboard or how to edit an existing one. After installing the plugins and restarting your server, all you want to do is go to the plugins folder. After that you want to look for simple score and then you want to look for the scoreboards.yml file. This one over here. Now all the way at the top you will see tons of information. If you better want to understand how this config file works, I would highly recommend reading it. Though, if you can be bothered, then just listen up. So this over here is the first scoreboard. It's a simple scoreboard. Well, simple, that's the name. So this is the scoreboard that we just saw in game. So here we got the server name, the player, health, world and online players. Now this text over here, so the player text here, that's just plain text. These right here are color codes. If you have no clue what color codes are, I will leave a link in the description of this video to a page where you can check out all the color codes for Minecraft. Basically this N symbol and six means gold and this means bold letters. So in bold gold letters it is saying player. Now on the next line we got a placeholder. Now in this case the placeholder is percent player percent. That means it will showcase the name of the player. Now over here it says percent world percent. That means it will show the name of the world. Then here we got percent hearts percent. Which will, you've guessed it, show the amount of hearts. Now because we also got placeholder API installed, there are many different placeholders we can actually add to our scoreboard. Now if you want to know how many there are, there are actually many, many placeholders. 
uh, this goes on for a while. Now for some placeholders, like this one over here, you will need other plugins installed as well. So to use these WorldGuard placeholders, you will need WorldGuard installed on your server. Of course you will also need placeholder API, and then you will need to execute this command. By executing this command, it will download these WorldGuard placeholders to your placeholder API library, and after that you will be able to use them. Now other placeholders, like the player placeholders for example, still have a a download command but they don't need an additional plugin. It's information that's just available in the game. There's not a separate plugin needed to actually read that information. Now like I said there's so many placeholders out there and I think the first step for a person that actually wants to make a scoreboard for their Minecraft server is to think by themselves, okay, what do I actually want inside of my scoreboard? After you know what you want, it's way easier to search for it. Now just scrolling to this list, I already see percent, player, volume, percent. Now what would that be? Well, it will just showcase the name of the volume the player is currently in. If you want to add that to your scoreboard, then you totally can. Just copy this and then we're gonna place it over here. So instead of hearts, I'm just gonna paste this here and then I'm gonna call this volume now we also got player xp here we got player online player ip and these are only the normal player placeholders there are lists of placeholders out here so instead of server name i'm gonna put kasai sura here yes then the player name, I think that's lame. I'm gonna totally remove that. Player is sneaking, player is flying. I don't really care about that. The ping, for example. So just copy it, and then we're gonna place it over here. Make sure to also copy the percent signs, otherwise it won't work. Change this to ping, there we go. Now, a little bit more complicated. Let's say I want the scoreboard to show my rank. So we got lookworms installed on our server, we've made multiple groups, and now I want the name of that group to be showcased inside of the scoreboard. How do you do that? Well, that's actually a placeholder where you will need to install a different plugin for. And that plugin is called Vault. So lookworms and pretty much every single other permissions plugin hooks directly into Vault. Now Vault can read all the information from the permission plugins and give that information to other plugins. So here we got the placeholder percent vault group percent. We also got percent vault prefix percent. So if you got lookworms installed on your Minecraft server and you want the lookworms rank to be showcased inside of your scoreboard, you first want to install Vault. After that, restart your server and execute this command. After that, it will download all of these placeholders and then you can use them. Now, normally you would have to kind of figure out which placeholder you need for what. I'm gonna give a little spoiler. It is percent Vault prefix percent. So you just want to copy this and then we're gonna paste it over here and then we're gonna put a rank here. And now it will showcase my rank there. Or better said, the prefix of my rank. Nice, that's cool. Now of course for this video, I'm assuming you've already set up a permissions plugin. If you've not set up a permissions plugin yet, make sure to click in the top right corner of the screen right now. There will be a link that will take you straight to my Lookperms tutorial, where I will explain you in detail how to set up Lookperms on your Minecraft server. In other words, how to set up permissions on your server. Now this bottom one, I'm just gonna leave it the same. You get the concept of adding placeholders. Now this part over here is actually an animation. So first it will show this line, after that it will show this line. Now if you want to add another line, we can just do that. So just copy it and then paste it here. Make sure it aligns with the line above. And then we can just put a fill of all zeros. Many, many zeros because why not? But you can also customize this however you want. But this is just a simple scoreboard. You can have it way more complex. So this over here is a custom timing scoreboard. So here you got the update time and the render time. Now if you want to know what the update time and the render time means, then we can scroll all the way to the top. Here you can see update time. The default update time in ticks. This controls how long it takes for each frame to stay on the scoreboard. And then after that we got the render time, the default render time in ticks. This controls how long it takes before rendering each frame. Placeholders and variables will only get applied each time a render occurs. So if you're using placeholders, and especially placeholders that need to be kept up to date, then you might want to render very frequently. As it says here, 10 ticks is 0.5 seconds. In other words, 20 ticks is 1 second. 
Right now, the render time is on 50. In other words, every two and a half seconds, it will render. And the update time is set to 100. So that means every five seconds. So for this whole scoreboard, this is the default update time and this is the default render time. Now, why does that matter? Well, for example, here we got two titles. So this is basically what will display all the way at the top of your scoreboard. In this case, this text over here will display for 10 seconds. And after that, it will switch to this text over here, which will display for five seconds. Now, why will this display for 10 seconds, even though the update time is only 100? Well, they added another update time here. Though, except for update time, it is called just update, and it is set to 200 ticks. Meaning that for this full scoreboard, the default update time is still 100, though for only this text, it is 200. Same thing goes for render time here, so the default render time is 50, though for this particular line, it is 20. Now this might all sound really complicated to you, especially if this is the first time freaking around with placeholders and all that stuff, then I get that this might sound really complicated. The only great tip I can give you is read through this very carefully because it actually gives lots of information and just play around with it a bit see what happens if you put it to 400 see what happens if you put it to only 40 for example play around with it for a bit and see what works for you now the last thing we're going to talk about inside of the scoreboards.yml file is conditions in other words what do you need to have or where do you need to be to see this scoreboard. Now has permission speaks for itself, your player will need a permission, otherwise they can see the scoreboard. But what I find the most simple example is, is overworld. In other words, if the player is in the overworld, then they will see this permission. You can also set it to is end, which will make it so that if the player is in the end, they will see the scoreboard. Now in this example over here, it is saying is overworld, and beneath that it is saying is the end. Basically the scoreboard is checking if you're in the overworld. If you are in the overworld, this is what the scoreboard will showcase. Now, if you are in the end, then of course you're not in the overworld. Because you're not in the overworld, it will skip this, but it will showcase this to you. Because you're in the end. If you're not in the overworld and not in the end, it will showcase absolutely nothing. So here we are back in game and like you can see the scoreboard has completely changed. So first of all, all the way at the top, it now says Kasai Sora. Then beneath that we got my add-on to the animation. So except for just a straight line with some, yeah, small things popping up. It's now once in a while showing a whole row full of zeros. That's something we added and this is what it looks like. Now beneath that we got the ping. Currently my ping is zero. Kasasura, why is your ping zero? Well, because this server is hosted on the same PC I'm playing on. So there's no ping in work here. It's just local host, which is why my ping is currently zero. Then beneath that we got biome. Currently I'm in a plains biome. If we go and walk towards this over here, like you can see, it immediately changes. So right now we are in a Sparrow's jungle biome. Wow, how cool is that? And then if we walk this way, then eventually I will go back to a plains biome probably. Yeah, there it is. And then if we go here, we're in a beach biome. And then if we go here, then we're in a lukewarm ocean biome. In other words, the biome will constantly change, which is really cool. Then beneath that, we got the rank. So this is the percent vault prefix percent placeholder. Now currently I'm inside of the VIP group, which is why it's showing VIP there. If I would be in the default group and the prefix of that group is actually saying something like member or default, then it will showcase that over there. If you're inside of the owner group and the prefix you've set in look perms is owner, then it will say owner there. It's such a customizable plugin. It's awesome. You can literally add anything you want to a scoreboard. All all right, so last but not least, let me show you some commands. First, very simple command, slash sb toggle. This will toggle your scoreboard on or off. Simple as that. Now in the scoreboards.yml file, you could see that we actually got multiple scoreboards. But right now, I'm only seeing a single one. If you want to switch the scoreboard you're seeing, you can easily do that by typing slash sb force and after that, the name of the scoreboard. So let's go to custom timing and there we go. We've now switched scoreboards. And like you can see, it's actually switching around. So the text on top and the text at the bottom will 
eventually change just like that so that's the update timing doing its thing and that's everything for the commands that's it it's very simple now last but not least the config file there's not that much interesting stuff here though i want to go over it very quickly the only thing that actually matters is the storage if you want your scoreboards to be saved inside of a mysql server then this is where you can do it if you don't know what the mysql server is then you don't need it it's as simple as that but if you do have a mysql server and you want to link this plugin to it then this is the place to do it and then here here, all the way at the bottom you can enable certain scoreboards in certain worlds so in this case world the end will use the conditional scoreboard but if the player doesn't meet the requirements to see the conditional scoreboard it will show the example scoreboard now this is basically saying all the worlds that start with world so that's the overworld the world nether and world end they will all show this scoreboard and every single other world will show this scoreboard so the example one now if you do have another world for example skyblock then you can just put skyblock over here and then we can just copy this and paste it here and there we go now inside of the skyblock world it will show this scoreboard so very cool you can actually have a different scoreboard in every single world how cool is that and then guys that's gonna be it i really really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like and if you're new to the channel not subscribed yet and you did enjoy the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out by doing that you actually would now if you do have any more questions make sure to ask them in the comment section of this video and then i hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.